Well, my name is Kiyoko Uno. I'm the co-author of this poster. And uh, in this study, uh, this is a study or uh, sub-analysis of the Saturn study. And we compare the atrovastatin 80 and losuvastatin 40 milligram uh, in the uh, progression of coronary atherosclerosis. And uh, as a primary end point, uh, we didn't see any significant uh, difference between atrovastatin versus losuvastatin, but, but we saw the benefit of rosuvastatin in sec secondary endpoint, total atom volume, TAV. And also, rosuvastatin group showed the, the uh, benefit on the achievement of lipid levels like LDLC, HDLC, triglyceride, non HDLC, uh, ABOB, and uh, also ABOB A1 ratio. And we saw the correlation between the achieved lipid level and the change in total atom volume. And uh, in change in total atrium volume, uh, change in atrium volumes, <laughs> sorry, uh, showed a positive correlation bit, uh, with achieved level of LDLC, uh, non HDLC, ApoB, LDLC, HDLC uh, ratio, and ApoB A1 ratio. We saw the change in total atrium volume uh, among the quartile of achieved atherogenic lipid profile like LDLC, non-HDLC, and ApoB. And the, the group showed the highest quartile of achieved LDLC level or non-HDLC level. They showed the less regression of total atrium volume. And from this study, we can say the greater impact of rosvastatin on atherogenic lipid and lip lipoprotein factors may underlie the greater degree of regression of total atrium volume in certain cohort.